Here we go. So today we're going to uh, demonstrate how to uh, deploy software. In this case, we're going to be doing Java. Uh, so once you log on the System Center server, you want to go on to Configuration Manager. We're going to be going under Software Library, under Application Management, right here. I've already created subfolders under Applications. If you, if you just click on Applications, you're going to see uh, the default software that we have here. Um, this is what you can find in the application catalog that we'll go over in another video. Um, but if you expand this, you'll see Adobe Flash and Java. So what we want to do now is uh, add a new MSI for the new Java update. Um, so let's add that. So we're going to create an application. Go to Browse. I've already put the location here, but you want to go to the network folder where you uh, store the Java app. In this case, we're going to be putting uh, version 151. Okay, now the software is inside System Center. We also want to uh, right click the software and go to properties. We want to make sure that this can be um, installed from the task sequence. This is how we do our uh, operating system deployments. So you want to make sure that that's available. You also want to go to distribution settings, and you want to uh, change this to download a copy to our distribution points, as well as changing the priority to high. So it makes it happen a lot faster. Okay. So now that we have the software in System Center, um, we are going to have to uninstall the software off of all the computers. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on this. Um, you would go to deployments, and you would want to delete the deployment. So we're, if this was to install, so we're going to be deleting the deployment that was scheduled for the install. And now we're going to want to uninstall it off of all the computers in ORA and RPC. So we would need to right click, deploy it, then uh, the collection that you want to un uninstall it from. So uh, for us, we want to take it off of this group right here. The distribution point has already been added onto here. Um, if this was not there, you would just click, let's see if we can remove it. Oh, we can. You would want to click on distribution point and you would add it right there. But it's already here. Okay, so right here, the action, we want to change this to uninstall. We want to send the wake up packets for the PCs that aren't turned on. Um, I found that scheduling is the best way to get things done. If you say as soon as possible, sometimes computers' resources uh, are too high and it will never uninstall. Let's change the universal time to client's local time and set a date. So for Java, if this is security, you want to get it ASAP. Usually you need about five minutes in between for the client's uh, PC to get its policy update. So it's 9.33, so let's say like 9. 45 a.m. And we can set a deadline for today at 10, which means that if they don't have it uninstalled by this time, it's going to make it uninstall at 10 o'clock. Right here, you want to hide the notifications. We, we don't want our customers to see the balloon pop up on the bottom right. They will call us asking us what's going on, so just hide it. Allow for software uninstallation to happen in the background uh, during the work hours. Um, normally, 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. is the maintenance window. So if you don't check this, it will happen after 10 o'clock. So make sure that this is checked. 
Okay, we don't need to create alerts uh, for this, so just click next, next, and close. And so at 9.45, all the PCs will be able to start uninstalling. At 10 o'clock, it will be mandatory. So then uh, what we need to do is deploy 151. Same thing, we're going to choose our collection. Again, if you just see users, you want to take the drop down box and do delight device collections. Click on the ORA RPC. Go to next. So here you can see what I was saying earlier where if it doesn't show up. So right now there's no distribution point assigned to this application. So we want to click on add. Click on distribution point. And we're going to choose our uh, service desk SD1 site available will give the person the option to install it which will show up in their software center we want to choose required which will just happen in the background to alleviate some you know <clears throat> speed on the uninstallation of the previous version you would want to schedule this after uh, the deadline so let's do 10 15 and we'll set the deadline for 10.30. Again, wanna hide all notifications and we'll let software install in the background. We don't wanna check system reboot during work hours. Okay, and that's pretty much it for uh, deploying software. However, in certain circumstances like with Java and Flash, those are assigned to task sequences for operating system deployments. So you wanna make sure to update those as well. So after, once you do this, you can scroll down to operating systems, go down to task sequence. And so for Windows 10 and Windows 7, um, you'd wanna right click, go to edit, and you can see right here, install applications. If you don't take these off of the install, so what it is, the task sequence right here is telling um, the computer to install these softwares. An uninstall will always win over an uninstall. So if you're trying to uninstall the Java version, um, it's going to fail. It will stay at 0% forever until you come into the task sequence and, un and remove it. So here, let's remove. And then we can add the new version of Java. So when we deploy operating system there, the latest and greatest, click apply. Okay. okay. And that's it. If you want to keep an eye on your deployment to see where your percentages on it, you can go to monitoring and then deployment. And then you're gonna see, uh, let's go by date created. You'll see your two things that you did. So here we chose to uninstall and then we chose to install. So of course the compliance is gonna be at 0% because we chose it to not even be available to start until 945. So once 945 kicks off, uh, you'll be able to right click this go to run summarization and that will uh, give you the latest uh, number. Um, yeah, and that's it. Thanks for watching.